Jeff Guerin is on his way to drop off his resume for a potential job. The one that pays me lots of money. Oh. <laughs> to get to his destination, he is using Indigenous Project Quebec's shuttle bus service. It's been over 20 years since I've been looking. Still no success. The first of its kind for unhoused Indigenous people in Montreal. The shuttle bus is a new thing here and it's been going on for about two, two months, maybe three months. And I'm glad it has because it's, it's been convenient to, to go to my appointments and I'm sure for, uh, with other residents too. Since the service started in March, it's been used by over 400 participants. 400? More than 400, yeah. And it's only getting more popular. I think it would be a good idea if more uh, centers uh, do something because it ensures people don't forget their appointments. They can't use the excuse, I got no transport or whatever. Now you got transport, so, you know, get to your appointments. In the morning, the bus provides transportation to the airport for people returning to their northern communities. Let's go to pack two. Okay, money bus. It then ferries users to medical and non-medical appointments within the island of Montreal. Hugo Jean, a project coordinator at the shelter, is heading the new shuttle service. Il y a eu le besoin de, de ce service euh, avec l'appel de plusieurs partenaires et surtout du, du réseau euh, de, euh, autochtone de, de Montréal. Et donc, euh, grâce à un financement de, de la ville et du réseau, on a pu mettre en place ce, ce service parce qu'il y avait des besoins. Euh, C'était difficile pour les, la communauté autochtone de trouver des, des solutions de déplacement. Although currently not in service in the afternoon, the bus hits the road again in the evening. Le soir, on est plus là pour, euh, pour aider les personnes à à aller vers les refuges, à aller, à aller chercher dans les stations de métro, à des places, des places stratégiques pour pouvoir les ramener dans les refuges pour qu'ils passent la nuit tranquillement au chaud et avoir un petit repas. Jean said that Indigenous Project Quebec has enough money to keep the service going for two years, so they will be looking for more funding in the future. On essaie toujours de trouver et de, de faire le plus qu'on peut. Emmanuel Vezina is the frontline worker for the shuttle bus. Moi, je pense que c'est non seulement nécessaire, mais que ça devrait même être encore plus euh, extendre les heures de, de service. C'est certain, là, on a vraiment beaucoup d'appels dans des heures qu'on n'est pas en service. Pour le moment, c'est juste le matin, le soir. Euh, ça pourrait être sept jours sur sept. I'm a little worried about my uh, sister. And Garen would really appreciate it if the service was expanded beyond medical appointments. Like, say if I wanted to go see my sister Pierre Paul, would you drive me there or? In that type of case, I would say ask your caseworker. Maricela Amador, APTN National News, Montreal.